Welcome Goosebumps fans. I'm Fiona Cush and I was the makeup department head on the film Goosebumps. And with me is my teammate Steve Prouty, the creature makeup effect designer for the movie. Hi. The experience working on Goosebumps was remarkable. Fiona, myself and our crew had to design, create and apply makeup to nearly 50 performers in the film. It took an enormous amount of work, but it was a lot of fun coming up with so many different looks. And working with so many talented and creative artists to come up with ways to make the unreal look real. Scary real, you might say. Right. And probably the number one thing I get asked is how did you make these monsters look so lifelike and believable? Well, I'll let you in on a little secret. Much of what we work with are things you find right at home, in your kitchen, or using basic arts and craft supplies. So, because you're real Goosebumps fans, we are going to show you a couple of makeup projects you can do at home, on your own, or with adult supervision for you youngsters. Fiona, what's the one makeup project you get asked about the most? Oh, that's easy. It's blood. Yep, me too. So let's show everyone the secret to making realistic looking blood that's sure to send chills up anyone's spine. And it's not with ketchup. For our blood, you're going to need corn syrup, red and yellow food coloring, dishwashing liquid, and creamy peanut butter. So let's begin. We're going to start with 16 ounces of our corn syrup. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of red food coloring, two teaspoons of yellow food coloring, and we have one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. So we're going to put the food coloring into the syrup. So start stirring that, Steve, right. for me. Stir that together. You're going to mix it up until all the food coloring is dissolved. So that's it. We're done, right? No, not quite. We have a little secret. We're going to add a tablespoon of a dishwashing detergent well, to the mixture. What's that do exactly? It's going to make it look more realistic and stop it from beading up. Oh, OK, Thanks. cool. Let's try that out. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Now, if you hand me the peanut butter, we're going to add equal portions of the blood we just mixed up to the peanut butter, and that's going to give us the more thick, more old, aged looking blood. Oh, cool. Like a thick scab. Yeah, exactly. Let me try that. Oh, no, no. Don't taste it, Steve. It's going to taste terrible. We put dishwashing liquid in it. That's right. Can't go in the mouth. No. And if you have peanut butter allergies, also, please do not add the peanut butter to your blood. Now, for our second monster makeup project, we're going to need some help and a victim. Uh, I mean, a model to sit in. Here's Dylan Manette and Ryan Lee, Zach and Champ from the movie. Hey, hey guys. guys. What's up? Hey, Steve. How's it going? Good. Hey, you want to take the honors oh, and be yeah. our model? Of course. Now, you're going to want to have a shirt on that you don't mind getting stained or messy. Oh, Ryan doesn't mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Steve, what are we going to turn Ryan into today? A mummy. Ryan, did you ever want to become a mummy? Yeah, I was kind of expecting to be a daddy first, you know? <laughs> wow. Well, here's what our mummy project will look like when finished. And now, let's take a look at what you'll need. To make our bandage headpiece and the bandages that we're going to use, we need a pillowcase, paper towels, and instant coffee. To make our glue for our mummy, we need corn syrup and flour. We're also going to use tempera paints and watercolor paints to paint our mummy, as well as a little bit of food color. And to finish them off, we're going to use breadcrumbs and cocoa powder. To make our mummy headpiece and our bandages, we need to take a pillowcase to start with and cut it up into strips in order to make all the individual strips that work on the headpiece. Now, we have our basic bandages here. For the pieces for the mummy's face, we're going to use paper towels. Stain both the strips for the headpiece and the paper towels with a mixture of instant coffee and water. It's a super concentrated paint or stain that we're going to apply to all this. Once you have this all saturated with the coffee mix, you have to let it dry for a while. The first step you want to do is pin basically a bandana of bandage around the person's head with safety pins. But you have to be very careful. That gives you a starting base on which to build the rest of the headpiece. Cut smaller pieces, tuck them in. You're going to want to go through and safety pin all these pieces together so that you can carefully remove this, hot glue all the pieces together, and then remove the safety pins. Once you have the headpiece off, you can go through and hot glue the pieces together carefully. Once the hot glue is in place, you can remove that safety pin and move on to the next one. And you just continue doing this until you have a finished headpiece with lots of extra strands hanging off that you can use later to wrap around your mummy makeup. And there you go. You have a mummy headpiece. 
We're going to start with the eyes. And we're going to use simple watercolors that you can get at any hobby store, art store. What we're doing is a mixture of black and brown just to give a mottled, aged color around the eyes. This is Ryan's usual look, so this is good. You want to try to avoid getting any of the paint in your eye. What's next is we're going to coat Ryan's face in glue. We make our own glue out of corn syrup and flour. And that's just going all over. It's yep. going to get crazy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here, you want to give it a I'll shot? I'll give it, I'll I give it a shot. I don't trust Dylan with the glue. Oh, in between the lips to close them. He needs the lips closed. <laughs> Dylan, you're really bad at this. I am very compared bad at to this. Them. Next, we're going to take our paper towel that we prepared earlier with coffee staining on it. Is this what you guys had to do on The Mummy every day that you worked with him? Not exactly. Not this exactly. is more tailored for your uh, your Halloween type makeup. Right. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm just not going to take it off till Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a puzzle. You just kind of got to fill in the places. Now that we have all the paper towels on Ryan's face, we have to dry everything that's there. So we're going to use a hair dryer to help that along. Yeah, that's dry. Yeah, a little crispy. Mm -hmm. We have a few spots that we want to fill in a little bit. So to help us along and add some texture to the makeup, what we're going to do is use a little bit more of our glue and some breadcrumbs. I want to just keep your eyes closed at this point because we got flaky breadcrumbs of fly in here. And then you got a nice snack too. Yep. You could just peel this off and eat it later. It looks like a graham cracker <laughs> or a s'more. Yeah, <laughs> just dump it all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> to help this along, we're going to dry it a little bit more. next step we're going to do is go in and put some color on this. So we're going to use tempera paints, a typical thing you can find at just about any arts or craft supply store. They're non-toxic and safe, so we're going to use them as our paint medium. I'm going to use a combination of white, brown, black, and yellow, and we're just going to mix it on our palette paper here, which you can use anything, piece of wax paper, piece of plastic. If mayonnaise, barbecue, mustard, and soy sauce. <laughs> Can you look at the camera that way, right? right. Now, <laughs> what we have here is cocoa powder. <laughs> cocoa powder is representing a type of dirt for us. So we're going to use that to just powder and throw on some... Throw more food on Ryan. More food. <laughs> Put it on there. That's right. And then we're going to toss you in the oven and bake you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do the cocoa? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm having so much fun, you guys. Just okay. slap it on there. There you go. Now, Ryan, lean towards me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, lean away. Mm -hmm. Now, lean in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Try to get rid of the pink of, of Ryan's lip there with a little bit of food coloring on a Q-tip. We're going to mix a couple of colors of food coloring, green and red, and give him a sickly greenish-black lip color. For the final piece of this, we're going to put on the headpiece that we made earlier. Here this is go. it. This is what puts it all together. I'm about to become a mummy, guys. That's right. Up in the back there. Okay, we're just wrapping the final bandages around Ryan's neck loosely, and there you have it. Ryan Mummy. Ryan Mummy, everyone. <laughs> it's amazing. Can't even recognize him. You guys can do it too. That's right. Just you too can be a Goosebumps monster, just like Ryan. <laughs> yeah, just wear a shirt that you don't mind getting messy, remember. <laughs> so thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about what we love doing so much, and maybe try it out for yourselves. Have fun out there. Don't be afraid to experiment a bit and try new things as well. You never know what you might scare up.